<laughs> well, here we are on Thanksgiving week, and uh, we know the travel is already uh, wow. picking up around the country, and certainly yeah. here in the uh, what what the heart of the, the, the heartland, the crossroads of crossroads America. 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 So she was right. there. I was, I was like this, like, oh, come on, help me out, help me out. And I tell you, you know, I, I mentioned this briefly and just briefly, but I think today, if you take from today to Saturday, mm -hmm. will be the worst travel day. Mm -hmm. And that's just because of the wet roads that we have, the accidents we already have out there. And I'll explain that in a bit. And Lindsay, if you just got up, has been a busy lady in traffic. This is a look at I-465 or I-65 and 70 coming into the city and MLK and West. Notice everything's wet out there. And remember, we have a lot of leaves uh, that are on these wet roads as well. So that can add to the problem. It almost uh, gives the illusion of ice out there. And again, as we've been mentioning, we've had some, some bumpers, of, uh, some uh, uh, cars running into each other out there and even worse than that. This is a look at the metro area where we're picking up this very light rain and drizzle. It extends to Anderson and Pendleton. You go west to Crawfordsville and Frankfurt, Brazil, Greencastle. We've got another line of rain that's moving in and we will experience periods of rain during the morning today. So watch for ponding. Some of you had some locally heavy rain, especially east of the city this morning, and the winds have been clocked to 26 miles per hour at places like um, uh, Muncie. So fortunately, it's going to be dry for Thanksgiving, and this will be a bad memory. But again, use some caution. I take some extra time to get out there today. 49 right now here, 52 Louisville, 48 in Cincinnati. We are currently four degrees warmer than yesterday at this time. And as we go through the day today, if you're headed to the airport, believe it or not, all systems go. We have no weather related delays at Indianapolis International right now. We'll be watching that though hour by hour for you for the rest of the day. Once the rain ends, it'll be cloudy temperatures in the low 50s, so a little bit above average winter lights at new fields will be a nice night to go tonight. Temperatures in the upper 30s if you're headed out there and then tomorrow the wind shift to the north. That's a cold wind, so 45 will be our high. Now, I still think we could squeeze out another tenth of an inch or so out of the rain today, but this is what things look like right now. Deep area of low pressure over Indiana. As long as this is still dominating our weather pattern, we have this dampness out there. Fortunately, this is going to move east northeast. What's that mean? Well, it means that uh, a north breeze on the back of this, but really no precipitation as we move into tomorrow and uh, then Wednesday. But that is a cold breeze right off of Lake Michigan tomorrow. And then as we get closer to Thanksgiving Day, the sun's going to shine. I think Thanksgiving Day really is going to be pretty. And I'm going to break down the holiday uh, for you more in a few minutes. 53 today, a cold one tomorrow. 52 on Thursday for Thanksgiving. 46 on Friday for the Circle of Lights, low 40s, upper 30s, and then uh, for your big weekend, we cool down to the low 40s, and that's like 10 degrees below average, Lindsay, so it is going to cool off.